I'm gonna try not to cry. Hold on. Okay. Isn't it a little bit confusing? <clears throat> In last week's video, I was sharing about I'm engaged, yay! In this week's video, <sighs> I'm on antidepressants. First of all, today is the 30th of October 2021. I don't know when this video is going to go live. I think that I would like to have you guys follow this journey along with me as i go through it um because i think if i don't upload it or upload this video the videos that are going to come from this as i'm going through this i'm probably never going to upload it anyways um there's so much there's so much <laughs> um the let's start at the beginning the last video you guys saw of me crying or the the one the one and only one other than this one <laughs> <clears throat> i was talking about how i'm not okay and i'm not as you can see um i haven't been okay for a long time if you follow me on instagram you know that <clears throat> i've been seeing my therapist for three years now next year will be the fourth year what the week um and i feel she doesn't know this so if she watches my channel i think she does i don't know <laughs> i hadn't been really honest about how i'm doing with her because I was afraid she's gonna put me in a psych ward, you guys. Isn't it crazy? That's like hectic mental health stigma. I was afraid she's gonna take me away from my family, from Sim, from Zion. And she's gonna put me in a psych ward. So I just lied by omission, basically. But recently, <clears throat> in our most recent session together, she was like you need to get on meds i didn't actually tell her i didn't say how badly i was doing i well, well in not so many words i did but she just said you haven't been doing well for a long time an idiot me <laughs> says her well am i graduating from you um no no girl you're not you're not graduating from your therapist you're going to be with her again for I don't know how long, as long as you need to. Oh, uh, she's like, yeah, you need to go see a doctor to write your prescription for antidepressants. And here I am, like, oh, okay, great. Does this mean I'm graduating? No, the fuck. It doesn't mean you're graduating. Um, this is a vlog, just by the way. I know I'm spending a lot of time sitting in bed chatting to you guys, but I just want to say that I'm at this point. I'm on antidepressants. Um, <clears throat> today is actually day two. This will be the second day I'm taking an antidepressant. I took, I received them or I got them yesterday, um, and I'm also on anti-anxiety meds. And the reason that I'm sharing this with you guys is because. There's a lot of shame that I'm feeling. 
this is a visual diary basically i might turn the comments off my thoughts are everywhere right now so just try to keep keep up with me i might turn the comments off <coughs> I might leave them on i might leave them on depending on how it goes i might turn them off but the reason i'm sharing this journey with you guys firstly is because i would like to look back on it myself and just see how it progresses secondly because other than the shame that i'm feeling I know for a fact that there are other people who mm, are in the same position that I'm in right now and they feel like they are the only ones but they're not um yeah so i haven't been to gym in a month actually went for the first time yesterday after i went to see the doctor and then um i went to go get my meds after that i haven't been reading been sleeping a lot I just haven't been in the mood to do things that I usually would find joy in doing because like who the fuck cares why would I want to do those things no one cares so I've decided to you saw in the beginning of this video I was journaling spend 15 minutes every single day journaling every day I haven't been doing that and as I'm journaling maybe one day I'll read you some of my journal entries as I'm journaling, I this is why it's so important to journal, but I haven't been doing it. And then it just it's just one big car crash, a train wreck, fire dumpster. Oof. I realized like it's it's not hopeless. This my situation is not hopeless. Like there is hope. Um I'm like I've been uploading on YouTube four times a week and nobody's been watching. So why should I keep uploading? And then I actually am like, go to your last video and see how many views there are. They're 300 and something views. So no, <clears throat> people are watching. Um, go to your analytics <laughs> and see that people are watching. Maybe they're not watching your most recent videos, but they're watching videos from a while ago, from 2018. Um... <clears throat> on patreon i keep uploading on patreon and i don't have patreon so why the heck do i keep uploading um because people do like saturday sweet sessions go to and see the views you know so the point is i'm in a shitty dumpster fire truck train wreck mess i want to take you guys through it with me um I'm going to keep journaling every day, 15 minutes a day. I set a timer, I actually set a timer and journal. I'm going to go to the gym as often as I can, 20 minutes, only 20 minutes. Walking on the treadmill, for now I'm going to set it at 20 minutes. So today I'm going to I actually need to shower first, I just feel icky. <clears throat> and then I'll go to the gym. Maybe I'll shout at the gym. I'd like a little frozen coffee. Yeah, so let's go. Let's go. One more thing before I go. Or before I get my day started. Um when I started getting into YouTube, I used to watch Gabby Hanna a lot. And I remember she was going through something similar. Hmm and um i just these words always suck with me don't let your pain go to waste is what she said and that's why i'm documenting this i don't want this to be something that i go through and 
I just never spoke about it um, and please don't get me wrong I'm not saying try to monetize your pain that's not what I'm saying <laughs> I think that it will be something that goes to waste if it's something that I just never spoke about and nobody saw it nobody you know if it was somebody that's in a similar situation like I said earlier um, that I I couldn't help somebody even if it's like one person that sees this and knows that um, you're not a bad person I'm, I'm also talking to myself when I say this you're not a bad person you're not a failure your brain just needs a little bit of a you know boost in terms of the neurotransmitters that are not working the way that they should be and yeah i don't want this period in my life to go to waste and so i had said that i'm not going to do vlogtober i know october is like done <laughs> but now it seems that this is going to be my <clears throat> my vlogmas content i'm so sorry <laughs> mm, yeah although it will be in november but like sort of no november december i don't want to get into the details but um i'm gonna try and do daily at least for the first please excuse it our washing machine is rattling at least for the first 15 days so i'm on a 15 day script for my antidepressant and then i'm going to go back to my doctor to see her not my therapist the doctor that prescribed um, to see her and I want to vlog every single day of the 15 days so this is gonna be day so actually day two because I started day one yesterday I couldn't get myself to vlog yesterday because I was just not in the mood to do that and at least for the first 15 days I want you guys to go through this with me and see what happens this is going to be a very long journey it's going to be longer than 15 days um i mean she was talking about six months and i was like please uh, i do not want to go into 2022 feeling like i'm feeling but maybe six months from now i might be feeling differently so for the first 15 days i'll be vlogging every single day and i think i will upload as it goes by and then in my usual mom vlogs I will um, see how it goes and update you guys as it goes by see how I respond to the maids if I don't respond to the maids all of that good stuff so uh, yeah I'm also thinking of completely getting off of Instagram that's such a big thing for me like I spoke about it and that it's on it's okay to not be okay vlog it's such a big thing for me the Instagram thing um I'm thinking of just just completely getting off um TikTok is just I love TikTok it's so different I don't sit there and compare myself to other people and other TikTokers and la 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 and you know no I don't do that <clears throat> but Instagram I see people's stories then I feel triggered like oh so I might unfollow everybody on instagram and not follow anybody and just use it to um um you know post about fitness and stuff but there are some people actually that i do like following so i don't know it's either i completely get off instagram i f unfollow every single person or i just use my um scheduling app and just schedule an auto post I don't know but we'll see um there's a lady I found well first of all also made me some tea which is so nice of him so I'm gonna sit and watch like a 20 minute YouTube video Here's how. and then I'm gonna get up shower go to the gym come back shower and then sort of get my day started Mm. so my plan to get out of the depression <laughs> coupled with 
pharmacotherapy and psychotherapy um is like i said journaling every day going to the gym 20 minutes at least three times a week um <clears throat> i need to get out of the house that's a big one i need to get out of the house i am at home all day long and i'm not talking about getting out the house like going to the shops i need to do something for myself that is not linked to trying to get out of the depression or keeping other people alive aka shopping for food i need to find a hobby hmm, that i'm not going to be monetizing so took it now so that I don't forget it um, I just have this dull headache that's been like the whole night don't think it's a cause to why am I speaking French oh my gosh I don't think it's because of <laughs> the antidepressant that's just something I've been struggling with for a long time and I did tell the doctor she just made a note about it so let's go. I'm not going to film anything at the gym. I'm literally just going to take a walk on the treadmill for 20 minutes and then come back. But I had a shower and I feel good. That's good. Um, this situation. I'll see it when I come back, honestly. Anyways, let's go. I'm back from the gym. What happened to my face? Um... <clears throat> Can I just stop by saying, this is the best stop nonsense ever, ever, best stop nonsense ever. <laughs> I wore it, I haven't been wearing it outside of the home, but I wore it to the gym today. And niggas at the gym would be like, hey, hey, literally somebody did that as I'm walking out from his car and he's sitting in a GTI and I'm just like, GTI niggas ain't ish, okay? <laughs> And I'm just, I'm just like, you know, just not like, just make sure that he can see it shining in the light. My battery's gonna die. I'll tell you guys something else once I've charged it. <laughs> okay. My battery's charged, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. <laughs> I wanted to say, I'm listening, I'm currently listening to this podcast called My Only Story by Dion Wiggett. A friend of mine recommended it and it's so good. Just be aware it speaks about sexual assault. So if that's going to trigger you, just, you know. But anyways, I listened to the end of season one and he's talking about why he's doing this. This investigation that he's doing and one of the reasons is because <clears throat> for art. And... This is also why I'm doing this because and he he says that he says he wants to take the pain that was inflicted on him by his abuser and turn it into flowers and I want to take the pain that I'm carrying that has caused me to fall into a depression and turn it into flowers I want to look back on this time and be like girl you went through the most but I made it you know um, 
and I want I want to share that with you guys so I don't want to make these vlogs very long like I said I'm not sure when I'm going to publish this one <clears throat> but um, yeah just follow along with me and see how where this leads um, so far this is day two of me taking my medication and they I don't feel I don't feel anything <laughs> Nothing bad, nothing good. I still feel the same way, but um, we will be upping my dosage in two weeks. And yeah. Anyways, cool. I hope this was not too bad for you guys. Um, I'll see you in the next one. There's gonna be one every day. Um, if there isn't one, I, I mean, I would still like to because this is one of the ways that I'm trying to cope is exercise I would still like to put out a Saturday sweet session but the other content that I usually put out might just be on hold unless there's something else going on that I really want to share um, <clears throat> Tuesdays was playtime Wednesdays was a, a vlog Thursdays was a sit down to chat and then Saturdays was Saturday sweet session so the others are just gonna fall away for now for the next few weeks and then the the rest yes hi hi baby the rest um will come back when i feel like it really okay hi, hi.